Hey guys, my name is Val and I'm here today to show you how to do this very simple sketch of a bluebird sitting on a birdhouse. All you need for this sketch are a pencil and a piece of paper and I'll walk you through every step of the way. If you have access to colored pencils and you'd like to color it in afterwards, you are welcome to do so. Now, before we get started, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about bluebirds, give you some knowledge before we start creating our art. Um, the bluebird is a symbol of happiness, hope, and good health. It's been around for a really long time. There are three different types of birds that are, three different types of bluebirds that are found in North America. The Eastern Bluebird, the Western Bluebird, and the Mountain Bluebird. And there are some slight variations with how they look. The Mountain one is all blue. The Eastern and Western ones have a slightly reddish brown chest on them. Now you might not know this, but there was a point in time that people thought the Bluebird was going to go extinct. Uh, in fact, from 1920 to 1970, people were pretty sure of it. Birders, who are people who are very passionate about birds, thought that they weren't going to see them anymore. It wasn't until 1978, when the, new, the North American Bluebird Society was formed, that conservation efforts were put forth to try and save the species. Now, there are two reasons why there was a decline in the population. The first reason is loss of natural habitat. People were building buildings and trees were getting cut down, okay? Uh, the Bluebird is a um, cavity nester. This means they like hollows and trees or crevices in, in wooden posts, birdhouses, places where they can go inside and make their nest. Speaking of uh, cavity nesters, that brings me to reason number two. There were two other birds that got brought to uh, North America, got introduced to North America in the 1800s. That, uh, those two birds are the European starling and the house sparrow. Now these two birds are also cavity nesters. This presented a problem for the bluebird because the bluebird is a very timid, shy bird, okay? The sparrow and the starling, not so shy. They're actually pretty aggressive and they're basically kicking the bluebirds out of their homes. So that's the second reason why. Um, they, they weren't able to find homes and so the population started decreasing. We weren't seeing as many of them. Now, when the North American Bluebird Society was formed in 1978, they taught people how to make bluebird houses. They're also called bluebird boxes or nesting boxes. Now, the thing with nesting boxes for bluebirds is they're, they're, they have to have a very specific size hole for the bluebirds to enter so that other birds can't enter. This entrance hole has to be, I think, like an inch and a half in diameter or something like that. It has to be just for them. No sparrows, no starlings. So that's the bluebird box. I thought that we could draw one today. Sometimes they look a little bit more simple than this. They're not as fancy as this. Um, but uh, this is the one that I'll be showing you today, just a little bluebird house. Um, if you Google bluebird boxes or nesting boxes, you'll see how, how some people make them a little bit more simple. But let's go ahead and get started. Grab your pencil, grab your paper, and let's create some art. Have fun with this.